Shiguro Saito Sensei, for us to be able to recognize you, you've had such an impact not only in Japan but in the whole world. Perhaps you'd like to say a few words to the audience, and then we have a few questions we'd like to ask you. Okay, uh, first of all, this is uh, the uh, greatest honor for me to receive this uh, very historical, honorable award. And I owe this award uh, to everybody who have supported my activities during the past 38 years history of my interventional cardiology. I would like to say thank you very much to everybody. Thank you very much. You know, it's an interesting phenomenon as we consider people for awards like this. We raise many individuals who are very prestigious, very well known. But I have to tell you, when your name was raised, I think that there was a silence in the room and there was an immediate recognition that this kind of acknowledgement to you was long overdue. Um, so from everybody in the TCT community, we can tell you how excited we are and how honored we feel to be part of this acknowledgement. Too much words for me. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. So, so we'll ask you some questions. I remember vividly in 1999, um, we did a transmission, um, and um, uh, Professor Saito did uh, a, a complex case. It was the 20th anniversary of TCT. It was a trans radio. It was an eight French trans radio that he did, uh, doing a very complicated osteo right coronary artery with rotational atherectomy in the middle of a typhoon. And I could not imagine his, his calmness, his ability to work through the procedure and get a beautiful result. Um, and I wanted to ask you how, did you, how do you achieve this kind of control and almost um, um, zen mentality as you do procedures in your a very frequent live case operator? I see. Okay, uh, I also clearly remember that case, you know, and uh, the patient himself is uh, still very active in doing without any hypnosis, okay? And uh, of course, it was a, a big challenge and, uh, you know, very stressful event for me to transmit cases, especially in the, that was maybe in the night time in Japanese uh, time and uh, it was very stressful so he, but uh, you know the i'm always speak to me when i have such kind of situations you know i never request anything special okay and i can do nothing that i cannot do i can do everything that i can do these words are always magic for me. By telling these words to, to my mind, I can achieve very calm, you know, silent mind. That is a secret. <laughs> but anyway, the stress during the transmission to the uh, TCT from Japan in 99 was more, you know, uh, more easy for me compared to today. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, Shigeru, this award is named after Jeff Hartzler. Mm. And uh, he was an incredibly charismatic operator that brought the field forward. And you worked with him, you trained with him, spent time with him learning CTO angioplasty and other interventional techniques. I wonder if you could recollect some of those days because I know if he was still here today, he would be so proud of you today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, I, it, uh, those days are very valuable for me. And uh, without, you know, uh, we, we cannot do anything by ourselves. We always uh, need some kind of, you know, uh, collaboration or help from the other people. So. Uh, that is a quite good example for me. Shigeru, I, I, I have to say the video very nicely showed 
that um, your life story, your professional life story, um, certainly you've had some significant events, some difficult events. The illness of your son, the earthquake, tsunami that we showed in 2011. But you've found a way to be able to use these hard events to be able to shape your professional career. Hmm. Yes, uh, you know, life is not always uh, flat. You know, sometimes we are facing very difficult obstacle and difficulty. And, uh, uh, but, you know, the, in those occasions, we have to propose our hands to the other people, especially uh, who is in difficult situations. We have to propose our hands. And, and also, we have to help those people who are in difficulty. And then we can achieve a very calm mind. That's a very important secret. So the, uh, we have to uh, ask some you know, help from the other people, but also we have to intentionally propose our hands to those people. And I'll ask you one last question, uh, and again, this is also a little about your Zen approach to life. Uh, as hard as you work and as dedicated as you are to your patients, you have a rich outside life, and you're many outside interests. You're mm. interested yeah. in, yeah. you've seen you, you are a sushi master. Yeah. We're in, you're interested in fishing and music and cycling and computers. Uh, yeah. So how important do you think it is for physicians to have a balanced life mm. and how does that help you be a better physician to your patients? Of course, I think that the physician must focus on the treatment of the patient. However, the life is always affected by something, uh, an eventful event. And then we are confused. But if we have something, different area interests, I have many, many interests, like uh, sushi making, or bicycle riding, or fishing, or computer programming. I have many things. So if I have, I'm facing some difficult situation, I can switch myself to those other different areas. And then I can easily, you know, achieve very silent, calm mind. That is a secret. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Thank you. Shigeru Saito, this year's recipient of the TCT Master Clinical Operator Award.